All right, today I will be reacting to a compilation performance that I feel like was kind of tailor-made for me because it features not only Daryl Ong that I'm a fan of, but also Mark Michael Garcia, who was a contestant of Tawag Nang Tang Halen. I'm not sure if he actually won the whole thing, but I remember reacting to him and I remember loving his deep, raspy voice. So these two wonderful artists will be performing a compilation of James Ingram hits. It's a video that was uploaded on Daryl Ong's video. As soon as I saw it, I added it to my list and I was like, you will react to that one and you're not gonna wait forever to do it. So I'm doing it today. If you are new to the channel, welcome! Marigayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Ako po si Ovila, I'm a sound engineer, beat maker, and content creator on YouTube. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. Yeah, all those hits. Compliment what she does. Send her roses just because if it's violin she loves, let them play. Woo! Dedicate her favorite song. I'm so happy to see Mark Michael Garcia on this video because I haven't reacted to him in a very long time just because, you know, no one really requests any of his uh, performances and I don't even know if he is active on uh, social media or on YouTube, if he has his own YouTube channel. Probably, I feel like most artists nowadays have their own YouTube channel, but still, I haven't really listened to him in a very long time, so this is really cool. Oh, I just noticed they have um, created a time cut for each song, you know, of uh, James Ingram. So this one is Love Today. with Marco, Mark Michael Garcia with his falsetto there. Ooh, that was so freaking smooth. Oh yes, that harmony, baby. Let's go. Shout out to the music as well. Clearly, music is in the heart of Mark Michael Garcia because even his one of his earrings represents the uh, musical note, you know, and the other one is the crown of a king. But I do no matter how I try to consult her She just do the best she could mm, 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 That voice But there are times the best It's no damn good And no matter how Yeah, this is This is 
the song that I am most familiar with um, when it comes to James Ingram's songs. You know, What a Lady. And have you noticed how good they are at lip syncing? Because obviously they recorded this in a studio booth, okay? And this is just the music video where they are lip syncing whatever they recorded in the studio prior, you know? But I feel like they're doing such a great job at lip syncing, it almost feels like they're actually singing it live right there, you know? I wanted her to say there'd be someday that I'd come crawling to my knees to ask her back again. I thought that she'd break down, but she smiled at me and never made a sound. was so beautiful it really feels like these two um worked on this compilation for a while to be this in sync when it comes to their harmonies you know P plus this video is 10 minutes long you know it probably took them a while to to work on it props to them man and i feel like both of their Vocal tones uh, go really well together. They blend so well together, especially when you you hear them sing together when they are harmonizing. Somebody's heart. Oh. Which song is this? Not the way. You say it's cause you're dreaming of how good it's going to be. You say you've been around. And obviously the mix is perfect. Perfect. Uh, whether it be for the vocals or the instrumentals, everything is perfect. I mean, the spacing of the instruments, the way they panned each instrument, the way they mixed the vocals for each artist, it's wonderful. And, you know, they really made it their own. Not only because they created a compilation with smooth transitions from song to song, but they kind of reimagined, recomposed the uh, instrumental for each song, and they took a lot of liberties with the way they are singing the songs as well, especially when it comes to the runs and me melismas, you know, and all that. So, man, congrats! This is a lot of work. And now you. So in sync with the the bells. Oh. 
Have you noticed that it's, uh, I think it's only Mark Michael Garcia that sings with a falsetto here. You know, it's when I reacted yesterday to Oyus, who is part of the GG Vibes, that I thought about the fact that Daryl Ong does not actually use his falsetto that much. Because yesterday when I reacted to Oyus, I compared him to Daryl Ong, you know, and I was like, yo, he's got, he's at that level, you know. Just the difference is, Oyus has an amazing falsetto, you know. He can go higher, I feel, than uh, Daryl Ong when it comes to his pitch, you know. So, yeah, I wonder if Daryl Ong has a beautiful falsetto or not, because he doesn't use it that much. But Marker, Mark Michael... Mark Michael Garcia's falsetto is incredible and high notes are just wonderful and it's surprising because I feel he has a deeper voice than uh, Daryl, you know? Plus he's got that texture so he's got range. See, now he's using his head voice. Alright, we switched again. Just once. And it's the last song that they chose from James Ingram. And I feel like it's the one that is the longest as well. Is it me or when Markle, Markle, why do I keep saying Markle? Because it's Mark Michael, I'm just putting the two words together and it just comes out as Markle. Let's just call him Markle Garcia. <laughs> but every time he sings, I feel the feels. When Daryl Ong sings, I feel them, but not as much as when Markle Garcia does it, you know? I don't know why, is it because of his vocal texture or because he is just that type of singer who is capable of communicating the feelings of a song a lot better, you know? I wonder. And he's so smooth, he's suave. going down the stairs like that see I would love it if Daryl Ong could surprise us here you know and instead of uh, Markle Garcia um, doing the high notes you know the high pitched notes and everything it would be Daryl Ong who does it I would love it if he could surprise us that way but I don't think it's gonna happen So many hits in this compilation. Woof, woof. And when I say hits, I don't mean the songs that they chose, because clearly they chose James Ingram's hits to sing. I mean the hits, the instrumental hits, you know, the ping, ping, pow, pow, the pow, pow. So many. <laughs> Do you see 
see how efficient that is. Did you see the reaction that he gets out of me when he hits that high note? Because it comes out of nowhere. It's so impressive. <gasps> see, not any man can do this. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was a long one. Oh my gosh, they both kind of flexed like R. Kelly. You know, R. Kelly used to do this, used to love to do this, flex like this, like elongate the note and just play with it, you know, push on that pedal. Sometimes my girl Regine does that too, you know, wow. That was, that was velvety smooth, guys. That was really, really good. So much talent in one video, it's impressive. But tell me something. Clearly, um, Daryl Ong has been very active lately, right? I mean, he's been releasing stuff on his own channel. He's been featured on other channels. And he's been doing karaoke and videoke in malls, okay? So the dude has been very active. Now answer me this question. Why haven't we seen something that he does with Burakel? Why in the world? That does not make any sense to me. Nada. Unless... Bugoy and Michael Pangilinan are just not available. That is the only explanation to me. I refuse to think that they're not friends anymore. I really don't think that's the case. So I'm thinking they're just busy, which is unfortunate because clearly Daryl Ong is on fire. He is just producing, 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 producing. So if they can do something together, that would be nice. <coughs> Sorry. Now it is your turn to let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this wonderful compilation and uh, marami maraming salamat po. You know, if you found value in this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.